Agni versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. For Cosmodon. I love you, Strafe. Hi, my babies. <laughs> Thanks for the nation. I'll see him play Armorsmith here. It is really nice to contest this deck in particular, but I still don't think I need it with the Blood Razor next turn. like against mana tide and stuff um it wouldn't be enough to even kill the primal fin after tank up here a little bit <clears throat> maybe set up for a brawl at some point it's too expensive to attack into the five five just just to execute it or roll and just execute it even if he evolves here i'm not too scared because it doesn't like it doesn't change the brawl clears and things like that Zester, thanks for the resub 25 months welcome back to the strife crew here is a crow fist. Mana Tide's kind of a more must remove. I don't really want to just like start, you know, coal at oracling and stuff um, against the Mana Tide. Too risky given Bloodlusts. We lose our Rowan, but we might get his Evolve too. We got one of his Evolves in his hand. There's like actually a pretty good reason to like keep your weapon. It's so much easier to set for battle rages if you don't have to spend your mana on like a whirlwind from your hand or something. Guess it's just one mana, but Incredible. 
Yeah, okay. I was thinking of just like saving a wall for double. I mean, saving Brawl for double evolve and things like that, but because I play Geist, you can't play double evolve after this Brawl. This makes more sense. Because I could have just Dead Man's Hand and, and play Colites, and I wouldn't die to Bloodless, but it's still taking a lot of damage. And I can clear this stuff when I can get it like a Sleep of the Fishes combo here. Two dead man's hands. There's no reason to play them now, though. I feel that's not, that's not the cards I want to draw. The cards I want to draw right now is um, whirlwind effects. Something to activate this the sleep with the fishes. I died of bloodlust. Actually, no, I died of bloodlust anyways. I think I made a mistake with maybe the Geist. It, the problem is I needed the Whirlwind so badly in this hand because I didn't have access to Scourge Lord, and I, I guess... The last charge of the first blood razor I blew as well. Hopefully we can get some armor here. It's gonna be hard. Wait, did he just mess up? Oh, he didn't have Thrall. I thought he had Thrall. We have one Whirlwind here with Scourge Lord. No, there's no reason to. Maybe we just uh, armor instead.
the next turn we can set up the blade storm with sleep of the fishes i might want to um dead man's hand before that because i think i need i think i need another sleep of the fishes i can battle rage after the, the thing that makes it kind of hard is it, it always feels weird to kill my own armor smiths but if i damage my own armor smith with this blade storm sleep of the fish kills it I think I better off killing on this matchup though, because of Devolve. Wow, he messed the last turn so bad. What? That is unlucky. Oh my god. Magni versus Belfurion. I must protect the wild for Cosmodon. Ooh, these are three of the premier anti jade cards. Like I said, you can beat Jade Druid early and set up Bell Rage. That's the best way to progress the early game. What's wrong with my lighting? <laughs> this kind of look weird, like dark. Let me try something. Let me see. If I open the window. Let me see how it looks. Ugh. Does that look better? Actually, that does look better. Dog on the shuffles like five to six cards with Dead Man's hand. That's interesting. That makes sense. This is worth more as a body right now. against the Jade's, Jade Spirit and stuff. Will this deck work with Warax nerf? Uh, I think, I think so. Warax is not that important for this deck and all the aggro decks got nerfed. Like Warax is best against aggro, aggro druid, against Murloc Pally and against Power Warrior. Um, those are all decks that are getting nerfed. I guess Token Shaman doesn't get nerfed by that much. Need to cycle. We need to cycle. We need to draw into cycle. Well, basically, the cards we're trying to get is Skulking Geist and um, Battle Rage. I've been working out, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. West Downhill or Republic Defender. Again, my deck is a little bit more focused on winning the mid game, like turns three. To five and that has zero attack and Stonehill can discover you. It fights back, and it can dis discover you stuff. I'm not gonna play Armor Smith here. I was thinking about it, but his J cameras are already at three, which means that it doesn't really help against them anymore. It's probably better to save it for when I draw Battle Rage and we're whirlwind together. Uh, or double arm Smith and whirlwinding that. Like, yeah. Makita MBO, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here is a Crofus. He has Kuhn in his deck. I don't think that was the right way to do this. We could take in one less damage. I should think about like what I'm going to do after the draw. Because I'm not like proficient enough with this deck to know that I'm going to be always Blood Razoring there. But now I think about like there's no minions to draw. The only minions are like Acolyte and Colite, which are kind of reactive. I guess I have a Stonehill Defender that I'd rather play over it. Like I do have one minion, one one minion, 
that's good to play with the line I did. Ooh, nice. I'm too scared of Kuhn. I'm gonna have to attack here. Because sometimes I need to sleep with the fishes with Geist. That's 4 to everything. But his next Jade is a 5-5. Five five. I guess it's too hard not to swing here and, and feel good about it. It just opens up myself with a lot of options. Because I can still use my weapon to hit the 5-5 five five Jade and then the 4-4 four four dies to roll and sleep with the fishes. I'm okay with this. I think it, if I'm setting it for this line, it's worth it for me to Dirty Rat because it just does 4 damage whatever I pull out. And I pull a lot of Jade cards. I sometimes pull out Kuhn, um, but I guess sometimes from World Drake. But for the most part, it's okay because I'm doing 4 damage to it. And I think this is okay not to play Geist here because um, he's probably going to ultimate infestation and he has a high chance to draw a Jade Idol from Ultimate Infestation, and then I can just play Geist after. Because he's not going to be able to dump his Jade Idols after the Ultimate Infestation, unless he gets really lucky with Innervate. Same thing here, like, I don't really need a Geist because he hasn't played- I need a Geist to turn after he plays Ultimate Infestation. Oh, he already used both? Oh, he played both Idols in, um, in minion form? That's crazy, okay. That's good, that's good to know. He crazy. He crazy. Something big that we can do? It's a 5-5 five five for 9 mana. Is that, no, no way, that's right. Is that right? We have literally nothing to do. Like, it's still bigger next turn. There's two aisles left. Okay, well, you guys confused me, but... Okay, yeah, it's, it is. You guys are just wrong. <clears throat> Frank Tizzle, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife crew. Here's a Crofist. I don't need to kill that, so I'm not going to roll in. That's irrelevant. It doesn't matter now. I played Geist, so... he Now he doesn't have idols. Oh, that is good. Every whirlwind is so good for me right now because it gives me so much armor. And I'm in no shortage of whirlwinds. Like, I don't need to save Ravage and Ghoul for Acolyte of Pain. It's three mana. Like, that's the good thing about having whirlwind in this deck over Ravage and Ghoul. It's going to cheat cycle. But again, the reason I don't like it is Geist removes them all from your deck. But yeah, I can just hero power. 